you guys wanted it, I'm gonna give it to you. Where did you guys go to school? You goons named me that! You're gonna like this. Hi guys, John Fitzen again. Got Charlie, we renamed Charlie. It's Wolverine <laughs> and everything. Don't take your claws out. But anyway. <laughs> so anyway, hey, we got a treat for you. And everything. Monty came in with, look at these, whoa. This is too cool, God, look at this. That's crazy. This is just nuts. I shave with a straight edge razor. I've shaved with a straight edge razor for quite a while. Yeah, yeah. Once you switch over, yeah. you'll never go back. It's cheaper, Yeah. you get a better shave. Yeah. And you, I tell you what, this stuff's making a comeback. Yeah. People are going and buying these things and, and uh, switching over. You can look at all kinds of videos on how to yeah. do it. Yeah. And uh, it, it's easy. You cut yourself pretty good the first few times. You know what? I never cut myself. I really? never cut myself the first time. I was so damn careful. <laughs> the, how long have you been shaving? Uh, it's probably a year or so. Really? I've yeah. been, God, I started when I was first in the military. In fact, they took my straight edge razor away in ba basic training. They said I couldn't have it. And I mean, and so I, and you know, well, here it is now up. today. Yeah, <laughs> wasn't that far back, but anyway. But Monty, you know, anything else you got to put in on? No, man, they're, they're really cool, and uh, every, every, I think everybody should start trying to do. You this. know what? And it's it, so cheap. Yeah, and it's relaxing, guys. When you're, you've got to get into a Zen state, and you've got, you've got to have a badger four brush, a real one, because they go thin at the tip, and it goes up into the hair follicles. All the other brushes suck. And they're expensive, you know. Straight edge razors are expensive. My straight edge razors, I have, I have two dobos and everything, and they're around four or something a piece. You know, you can get a good one for about 160. You're shaving Mine, like an old Hinkle, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, it's yeah. an old Hinkle in talking. Germany. Yeah, it cost me 60 bucks. Uh, you can get high end ones. You can get lower end stuff. Mine was really old, but uh, I brought it here and had you sharpen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, so yeah, did you shave good since. after? Yep. Still have well, when, it, when I shave, <laughs> when I shave, I shave it straight edge. Yeah. But anyway, but Monty, how long have you been collecting this stuff for? This is unreal. Thirty years since 1974. Whoa. And uh, I've never, I've collected, but I've never shaved with a straight razor. <laughs> you want it? Uh, <laughs> after, after you sharpen it. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us about some of these. Just briefly tell us about some of these. This is just cool. Well. Okay, some of the, this, these razors are uh, pre-1800. They're the mm -hmm. late 1700s from France. Mm -hmm. And where these days we have tangs, mm -hmm. the early ones did not have tangs. Okay. So yeah, yeah. It was, that was their the style. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and these are out of ivory, it looks like. Ivory or bone. Okay, wow. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, Unreal. Nice set here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Look at the interest see on these. It just, oh man, the girls, different stuff like when when Monty came in, it just just blew us away. We just yeah. like whoa. And Monty's gonna have us uh, clean some up. How many straight edge razors do you have? Oh, probably at least a thousand. Wow. But, and Monty's selling some of his collection. So or all of it, or we just some of it. Uh, if I got the right offer, all of it. Okay, but cool. Yeah. I've been selling some stuff on eBay so far. Yeah, so you can look on eBay, or if you want, you can get a hold of me, and everything. I'll get you in contact with Monty, and everything, and do some stuff. Here's some stuff that he has right here that he wanted me to kind of do some stuff with. The, yeah. That's really trash. Yeah. Back in oh. the... Uh, when they were making celluloid razors, there were some razors that they would get this gas gaseous uh, uh, stuff and it would uh, they call them smokers and it would destroy the plastic and really? rest the blades Wow! and so you we always had to watch for that so that's a high carbon yeah that had to be a high carbon I guess maybe it would still do it on some of the stainlesses some of the stainless mm. uh, yeah I think that stainless um, from what I understand stainless was not done very often mm -hmm. because the high carbon just holds a, a keener edge yeah yeah in fact I've shaved with both uh, I had a puma at first it was it was nice but the dovos that are high carbon 
I'm telling you, like I've told you before, you know, high carbon is holds a finer edge. You know, stainless steel holds a longer edge. And I like my Dobos better than I do my Puma that I have and all that. And uh, so I'm going to be cleaning this one thing. up. Yeah, uh, for Monty. In fact, you know what? Why he's trying to find the keys? Let's go up there and sharpen it and, and clean this up. You can see how bad that is. And I mean, he wants to see what I can do. Let's just straighten it up, make it look pretty for him. Charlie told me something. I, I've never heard this. And maybe, I don't know, maybe you've heard it. Now tell us about the little nick and some of them. Because none well, of mine have the nick. Well, yeah, this is a this is a mustache clip, I think is what it was called. And, and you can tell on the uh, different... Uh, straight razors the years that they were made because when it was really popular to have a mustache mm -hmm. a handlebar mustache or whatever they would do these clips as soon as it wasn't popular then they wouldn't do the clip anymore they just had so that was for and what this was for you would you would pry up on your on your mustache and then hold out um, and then the whatever you know, your okay, handlebar cool. and then and then yeah so it would it would actually go between uh, your skin and the and whatever uh, stuff you didn't want to have cut and then you get a hold of it and then you could shave it Wow, didn't know that. All the useless that's cool. information that I've no, got. No, that's <laughs> dude, that's not useless. That's cool. Uh, Monty, tell us some, about uh, some of these, if you would, please. A little bit, okay. This one is like cast aluminum, and I believe it's probably from the early 1900s. It's like the Sweeney Todd one. You ever yeah. seen Sweeney Todd, the movie? Uh, no, but oh, I, I you heard have, about. It's a great movie. It's bloody. It's guys got to watch it. Sweeney Todd, yeah. really, and watch the things after it. Man, it's cool. But yeah, yeah. he did things with the straight edge. It was cool. Yeah. <laughs> Go and ahead. They, they were selling Sweeney Todd they razors were, on eBay, and they suck. I seen one. Yeah, they were. Just, oh. yeah. yeah. Okay, so here's a double parrot, and Beautiful. I actually. Um, checked eBay last night and there was the equivalent one sold for $540. Mm -hmm. kind of wow. high. Um, nude women were pretty popular at one time. And you know what? It's still popular with me. How about you, Charlie? <laughs> you know, mine, mine doesn't have a naked girl on it, but it does every time I close my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we can have Dave Sodaquist put one on. <laughs> Oh, show this other one. This one's really yeah, cool. This is, uh, I call it the braided razor, and it's very delicate. Um, it, it actually has a patent date on it somewhere out down here. Um, and uh, it's just one of my favorites. It's beautiful. It's be yeah. Now that's made out of the it's cellulite. cellulite. Yeah. Now what is, do you know what actually that is? It's just a, a type of plastic back yeah. there. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's yeah it, was in, it was it's invented. Plastic. Celluloid was invented around 1870, 1880. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah. So, wow. That's yeah. an interesting one, too. I like that. Yeah, this this one would fit your style. There you go. There you go. <laughs> that's right. beautiful. The, the buoy is straight edge. Yeah, that's beautiful. Wow. God, Monty, this has been such a joy. I just, I just love this. This is just so just so neat and, mm -hmm. and all those right there yeah this this one I actually had a old friend this is not old scrimshaw uh, my friend did it about 25 years ago oh wow is he still around doing scrimshaw or does he I lost touch with him oh okay well, cool. well you guys I'll tell you uh, Monty thank you thank you once again okay. and um, well, if uh, anybody yeah and if anybody wants to buy he has I can't believe all this is nothing to where he brought in a lot of stuff this is just some of the really cool stuff I mean but he has all sorts of stuff so if you own a tattoo shop barber shop you want something cool call me up I'll give you a hold of Monty and you know so that's it okay looks a lot better than what I did <laughs> I had to take I might take up shaving yeah there you go I had to take quite a bit you yeah, know, because that yeah. big, big one right there. But it actually pops hairs. You know, I, I could actually shave with it. Yeah, you know? It looks great. So, anyway. That's and why uh, I came here. You know, ever, you got a, quite a reputation. Yeah. Well, here, who did you hear? The other guys just telling you, say, hey. My barber shop. Um, okay, cool, cool. And Mill. 
But God, this, God, this was such a treat, Monty. Yeah. God, I appreciate it so much. And you're well. Come down here anytime, dude. Thank you bring you. stuff down and everything. And uh, God, maybe what yeah. we'll do, you know what? Hmm. We'll, we'll maybe we'll shave with yeah. him one day. Yeah. We'll just all, you know, shave. we'll come down to your house, get in your shower with you. <laughs> You know, and then just come out, and we'll come out shaving. Does that sound good? I look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, keep your edges sharp, your powder dry. Anything you got to say, nah, Charlie? that was awesome. Thanks for coming in, Monty. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, thanks again, guys. And k Pack, say bye. See ya. <laughs> See you guys.